Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Real World Inequalities. We're gonna start our lesson by first looking at some key words for inequalities. So we're going to categorize um, a bunch of different phrases into either greater than or equal to, greater than, less than or equal to, or the less than category. So the first phrase that we have is no less than. That's actually gonna go in greater than or equal to because if I have no less than, it means I could have exactly that amount, but no smaller, so I need to have something that is greater than that. Then we have our less than, which of course is gonna go under the less than symbol. Maximum, maximum is going to be a less than or equal to. That means that the max that something can reach um, is going to be a value that could be exactly that value or smaller. Below is going to be less than. Up to is going to be less than or equal to. Exceeds is going to be greater than. So if you exceed it, you're going to be more than that value. No greater than is the less than or equal to. Fewer than is going to go under our less than category. A minimum is going to be greater than or equal to. So maximum is less than or equal to, which means up to that point, and our minimum is going to be greater than or equal to, so you must be a minimum of a certain height to, uh, for instance, um, enter an amusement park ride, then that means that you could be exactly that height or taller, but you can't be smaller than that height. At most is going to be going under less than or equal to, is over is going to be a greater than, at least is going to be greater than or equal to. So you could be that value um, or you could be higher than that value. Under is less than, more than is going to be our greater than, and then of course greater than goes under greater than. Now that we've identified some of our keywords, let's use these words to translate some different phrases. So when we're translating an inequality, it's the same as translating uh, for an equation, but we're focused more on which inequality symbol we're going to be using. So here we have a phrase, a number is no less than 12. And then we also have our um, written out. So we have five, the less than symbol and our variable of X. So we're gonna look at both of these before we get into real world. So for this one, we have a number and 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and write N for number, and then I'm gonna write a space in between it and 12 while I try to figure out what inequality symbol goes here. Using my chart, I see no less than is the greater than or equal to symbol. So I'm just going to put that in between my variable and my number. For this one, five, and then the less than symbol X, I'm going to rewrite this in words and I'm going to pick any of these phrases from the less than side. So I'm just going to say five is less than a number. Let's look at some real world examples here. You can be at most 52 inches to ride the roller coaster, and there is a minimum of 100 shirts per order. Try these on your own using the table. For this first one, I'm going to write a variable and 52. So I have N, a space, and 52. I'm gonna look for the phrase at most, which I see in this column right here, at most is a less than or equal to. So my inequality should have been N is less than or equal to 52. For this one, I am going to write a variable and 100 with a space in between. And I'm looking for the word, the keyword minimum. So minimum I find right here with a greater than or equal to sign. So N is greater than or equal to 100. And both of these are real world situations. On this one, we could say that maybe this is a child roller coaster. And so you have to be um, under a certain height. And so for this one, that makes sense. You need to make sure that you're reading it in context because uh, typically when we think of roller coasters, we think that you have to be at least a certain amount tall, um, but this one says you can be at most 52 inches. For this, this is a real world situation that you see a lot of times with schools when you're ordering your school's 
uh, spirit shirt and you want to have to place a minimum of 100 shirts. So as long as 100 people are willing to buy that shirt, you could get them. Let's look at two more examples. Kids under 13 eat free. So I'm gonna write my variable in 13, and then I'm looking for the keyword under. So under is going to be right here with the less than. So as long as your age is less than 13, you can eat for free. Here it says there is an extra charge for exceeding 50 miles in a rental car. So I'm gonna write my variable in 50, and I'm gonna look for exceeding. Well, I see exceeds here, and I know that's the same, so it's greater than. So if I drive over 50 miles in my rental car, I will have an extra charge. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.